Lethal alleles are genetic variants that, when present in a homozygous state, result in the death of an organism before or shortly after birth. These alleles can disrupt essential biological processes, leading to severe developmental abnormalities or metabolic failures. Types of lethal alleles? Recessive lethal alleles, the most common type. They only manifest their lethal effect when present in both copies of a gene, which is known as the homozygous state. Carriers or individuals with one copy are usually unaffected. Examples include sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. Dominant lethal alleles are rarer than recessive lethals. They can be lethal even when present in a single copy or in a heterozygous state. Individuals carrying dominant lethal alleles often do not survive to reproductive age, preventing their transmission to future generations. Reduced genetic diversity. Lethal alleles can remove genetic variation from a population, potentially limiting its ability to adapt to changing environmental conditions. Balanced polymorphism. In some cases, heterozygous individuals carrying a lethal allele may have a selective advantage, maintaining the allele in the population. This is known as balanced polymorphism. For example, individuals heterozygous for sickle cell anemia are resistant to malaria. Genetic counseling. For families with a history of genetic disorders, genetic counseling can help assess the risk of carrying or transmitting lethal alleles. Prenatal testing. Techniques like amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling can detect lethal alleles in fetuses, allowing parents to make informed decisions about pregnancy. Genetic screening. Population-wide genetic screening programs can identify individuals at risk for lethal genetic conditions. While lethal alleles can have devastating consequences, understanding their nature and impact is crucial for genetic research, disease prevention, and improving public health.